guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am popping in because I forgot to film an intro for this video. So, here we are. Um, in today's video, we're just going to be continuing on the concealer a day of reviews for seven days. Um, and yeah, today's video is all about house labs this one is pretty popular it's been buzzing so yeah if you want to see me try this on including a wear test let's just jump right in okay guys let's jump in i'm gonna do a full face um and just speed through it and then we'll come back when it's time for the concealer and we'll talk about it so see you in a minute Okay, you guys, foundation is on. As you saw, I used the Makeup Forever HD Skin Foundation. I love her. Today, we are going to be testing out the House Labs Concealer. She's next on our list. Um, I kind of wanted to be bold and get um, a color I wouldn't normally pick. It matched my foundation shade according to like their chart on Sephora. Um, and I got 12 Light Rosy. I don't own a single rose colored concealer or rose toned um the packaging is of course beautiful it's very reminiscent of their actual foundation bottle it has the h on the lid um house labs on the side frosted plastic it's pretty we're gonna go ahead thick doe foot we're gonna go ahead and just put her on you know what i mean right off the bat she's thick thick and creamy, which is interesting. It's unlike any of the other ones that I've used so far for this series. So that actually is very interesting. A little bit of a different perspective as far as like texture goes, but I will say it blends out like a dream. Real time, that was like a second. Let's go ahead and do these under eyes. It is a very rosy color. Actually like it. Like I really like this shade. Like blend it out, it actually looks really nice. Hydrated, healthy. Like the color is definitely brightening. I would say it's medium coverage because I can still see like a blemish. I'm gonna see if I can build it. Yeah, it's definitely buildable. She is a natural radiant finish from what I can tell. It is settling in my creases. There's like nothing I can do to get it out. It's just, they definitely are acting like they want to stay there. Conceal, brighten, and blur. Infused with skincare. Brightens and covers with a weightless serum-like texture that blends seamlessly with a hyper smooth second skin finish. Um, I wouldn't say it's like a serum texture. It's definitely thicker, but it looks beautiful. It looks healthy and gorgeous right off the bat. 
I would say. Yeah, she looks good. Just settling in my fine lines, but it's really hard to find a concealer that won't do that, that won't settle into the fine lines under my eyes. And honestly, when I set it, it's fine. Like, and I can always touch it up throughout the day. It's not that big of a deal. I mostly want a concealer that's gonna make my under eyes look healthy, bright. But yeah, I don't know if you can tell. It could be my primer. You know, I have a really good primer on. <laughs> the Huda Beauty Glowish Primer love her but it is very smoothing under my eyes i feel like it is very smooth and hydrated all right let's go ahead and set this before it gets too unmanageable i'm just using my urban decay setting powder So we're gonna go back to the speed through, finish up the rest of my face, and then, yeah, come back and talk about the concealer after my whole face is done. See you in a minute.
Okay, you guys, full face is done. This is what I'm working with, natural. Um, yeah, so my thoughts on this is it is extremely nice, okay? Uh, it's one of the nicest that I've tried through this whole thing. The only thing I'm worried about, um, the applicator is going to get extremely gross really fast it's just really thick and goopy on the actual wand like you can see that it's sticking up there and when you put it back in it's like got this tight squishy I don't know it just seems like the product's being pushed up the wand and that could be an issue for later but right now it's not so we'll ignore it for now but <laughs> let's go ahead and look up all of the claims and see what we think about those Okay, so it retails for $32 on Sephora. It's a long-wearing, non-comedogenic concealer that visibly blurs, brightens, and conceals with medium buildable coverage with de-puffs that de-puffs after two weeks of daily use. So I can't speak to the de-puffing, but we did build it, um... And I said it was medium coverage. It is medium coverage. But you can definitely build it to look like full coverage. I mean, that's what I did today. Um, and yeah, it blurs. It definitely brightens. Um, and it conceals. So yeah, I would definitely... I agree with these claims. 100%. The finish is natural. Yes, you can see that upon first application. It is extremely natural finish. I would agree. Um, it has niacinamide, fermented arnica, and hyaluronic acid, and it's gluten-free, vegan, and cruelty-free, so that's pretty cool. It went through clinical studies, and it is clean at Sephora. So, yes, I do think this is a pretty amazing concealer. Of course, we will check in in, like, seven hours, um, and we'll see how it performs throughout the day. But as of right now, first impressions, first use application, this concealer is absolutely beautiful. And yeah, definitely see where it places in my lineup at the end of this week of concealers. But yeah, I definitely... So yeah, I'll see you guys in a few hours and I'll check in with you. Bye! Okay, you guys, excuse the hair and the attire and everything that is right now. It's been like seven and a half hours. <laughs> No, it's been like eight. It's been eight and a half hours. It settled slightly in my creases, but barely. Other than that, I mean, it truly honestly looks like I just put it on. <sighs> I like this a lot. And the color, I'm pleasantly, pleasantly surprised by the color. So yeah, this is a win right now. That's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.